This is Alan Bush with Archer Financial Services. We are seeing higher stock index futures prices this morning, in fact, sharply higher prices. This all seems to be linked to comments from two Fed Bank presidents, uh, one yesterday evening, and then another uh, president early this morning indicating that the Fed could become more accommodative if the economy were to uh, soften. Seeing some good gains today. Of course, we have Fed Chairman Bernanke speaking uh, tomorrow. In fact, he is testifying before a congressional committee at 9 o'clock Central Time. This could be an opportunity for him potentially to hint at further accommodation from the Fed. In fact, I think that testimony is likely to be probably one of the most important events of the week. So in anticipation of easier credit conditions from the Federal Reserve, we are expecting further strength today in stock index futures. This may follow through into the early morning trade tomorrow in advance of that testimony. So look for better prices with the activity that we're, we're seeing. Over in the foreign currencies, we're seeing the euro currency trading higher. We did have the European Central Bank leaving credit policies unchanged at their meeting today. Uh, they, their key interest rate at 100 basis points. There was a very small chance that they could have lowered rates by 25 basis points. So the fact that they kept rates unchanged uh, from an interest rate differential point of view is supportive to the euro currency. Prospects of easier credit from the Fed, also from an interest rate differential point of view, supportive to the euro currency. Now we feel that this is just a temporary situation. Although the euro we anticipate will hold up well this week, we anticipate lower prices next week and probably uh, additional pressure uh, later into the year. The same situation supporting the commodity currencies, the Australian dollar and, and the Canadian have held up relatively well from an interest rate differential point of view. Also some additional strength in the uh, Australian dollar, Australian GDP coming in uh, much better than expected, up 1.3 percent. The guess was up 0.6 percent. We are looking for those two currencies, the Australian and the Canadian, to do well uh, this week, but next week I think we'll see the main trend re-exerting itself the commodity currencies, the Australian and the Canadian, will probably come under pressure again. And we feel that the main trend for those two currencies is lower. Credit markets uh, under some pressure as commodity prices firming up and stock index futures a little bit better. Those, of course, bearish influences on the credit markets. But I think as we see more and more talk about the Fed easing credit, that should support futures on breaks. So the main trend on the credit markets, the treasuries, is higher, and that trend, I think, will last well into this year. Now, once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.